What is up YouTube? My name is Cody Powell. I am a skateboarder slash handboarder from the Philadelphia region of Pennsylvania. And today I'm going to be teaching you how to late flip on a handboard. Um, late flips are the coolest, some of the coolest, and hardest tricks to do on a handboard. I picked four of the easiest ones out. Of course all require practice, but hopefully I can teach you guys how to do at least one, if not all four of them. So we're going to get right into it, starting off with the easiest handboard late flip trick to learn. And no, it is not just a regular late flip, like a back hand late flip. Actually, I would say the easiest to learn is a fakie ollie, fakie front hand late flip. So I'm going to show you what that guys is right now, and we're going to get into explaining how to do it. Alright, so you only need to know one trick to be able to do this, and that is the fakie ollie. So if you guys are already comfortable with Ollie, faking Ollie is the exact same thing, just rolling backwards if you guys did not know that. You want to be comfortable with your fakie Ollie. It does not need to be as high as Dextra's, if you guys know who that is on Instagram, uh, someone with Crazy Pop. But it does need to get at least 4 inches, 5 inches off of the table you're on, the floor you're on, whatever you're using. You need to get at least a little bit of height from it. So make sure you're consistent at that to the point where you can do that every single try and now you're going to move on to the next step. Uh, for the best pop for this trick you're going to want to put your foot a little on the outside pocket so when you pop you're going to force the board to turn slightly heel flip position. Another good way to do this is if you can fake your heel flip to do a small motion of a fakie heel. You're trying to get the board basically to rotate like this towards the heel flip position but only to about there. You're not going far with it because you're going to be hitting it back. It just gives your place, uh, gives you just enough cock in it so your hand can catch it when flicking. Now, pop, flick up, bring your hand back, hit down, rotate, flip. This isn't that hard of a trick to explain to people. It is entirely just getting this motion to rock it over to here. Because if you don't, and I, I do this a decent bit too, if you do a small kick flip instead of heel flip, and you go to flick, your hand won't be there. So you'll just keep missing. So that little tiny cock with it. So just like that. So practice your fakie ollie, throwing it slightly like the heel flip. And even if it flips halfway like that, that's good too because you're going to be flicking it before it leaves your hand. So practice this, getting that comfortable. After that, you're going to want to pop, cock it, and level the back out a tiny bit. Now this is overly exaggerated, but you want to cock it back a tiny bit. So when you flick down, it does an actual kickflip. Now you can do this in two different ways. Uh, the late flip, you can hit the side of it and flip it down. Or if you want, like a pro would, take it off the nose. So this trick isn't that hard to do. Literally just a fakie off and slap it. Uh, you're going to end up doing this a thousand times before you find out the exact to hit the nose, you're probably going to keep hitting the center driving it down. That's why I recommend popping over here because when you pop and you go to slap, usually your hand will meet that edge perfectly instead of trying to pop here or straight down. So this trick, super easy. I love doing it out of grinds. Like one of my favorite tricks to do is like fakie varial flip to switch nose grind to this late flip out. Now we're going to move on to late flip number two. I did forget to say before we move on to late flip number two, after I explain each trick, I'm going to show it once in regular motion and once in slow motion again, so you guys can understand how it looks. Trick number two is a regular front shove, late front foot, late flip. This trick is not that difficult, but it is a weird one to learn. Now I've known how to do this for about two years but slowly I've perfected it to the point where I can do it almost every single try. So we're going to see what a front shove late flip looks like now. So this is the second late flip I have ever learned. Uh, this one isn't difficult. The only, the only trick you need to know how to do this trick is a front shove, which they aren't hard. So once you learn a front shove, make sure you have those good. Make sure you're able to do them first try every try because the shoves are extremely easy on a handboard. Pop, shove it, front shove, nollie, shove, you know what I mean. You get the point. Front shoves are very easy. 
So adding the late flip isn't that much more difficult. Now when I used to do it, I used to do it like this, but my hand kept missing the flick. It was very difficult to get that. So what I started doing was, take your hand and put it in your normal front shelf position, your back hand, and take your front hand and put it right in front of the back bolts and cock it slightly. You're going to do the front shove, you're going to follow the board with your hand, and then you're going to flick it down. And while that seems extremely difficult, it actually is a lot easier than you would think. Now, a big problem with doing that is, if you flick too early, you'll end up just doing a varial heel flip. And you can't say that's a front shove late flip if you do a varial heel. You know what I'm saying? So, wait, time it, land it. I'm going to show it once again in slow motion and regular motion. This trick, very, very simple. Seriously, just the front shove and then the late flip. So, that one's going to take practice. A lot of the time when I do the front shove, I'll catch it too high up and throw it across the room. And no one likes that. that but this is also a really easy one. The next one is also an easy one. And the final one is slightly harder. But definitely, I don't think anybody's going to be teaching you guys how to do that. So, let's watch it one more time. Trick number three. It is not a late flip, but it is a late trick. Um, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do a kick flip, late shove it. One of my absolute favorite late tricks to do. And the late shove is such an easy trick to add into any kick flip version. Hard flip, late flip, very easy. Um, anything that flips in the kick flip motion is super easy to do this. Add a late shove it into. So for this trick, you guys are going to have to know how to kick flip. If you don't know how, my sponsor, Hangnail Handboards, type them up on YouTube. You can find that uh, one of the guys, Zyler, has a kick flip tutorial on there. So learn how to kick flip. Wow, I can't even kickflip. Make sure your kickflip's good. You can do it pretty consistently, pretty decently. And this one takes more timing than the other late flip tricks, but this one probably is easier than the other two. So you're going to do a kickflip, just a regular kickflip, and you're gonna watch it rotate. And the second you see the graphic, now your hands are here, like a kickflip motion, like your hands are here after the flick and you're waiting for it to fully rotate. Now we're talking split second and this is a little exaggerated, but you're going to watch it. And the second you see the graphic, take your back hand, start pulling it towards you at a very light power, like low speed light power. And when you catch it, you're going to end up throwing it around and catching it like this. So. This one is tough because hitting it too hard, you can do a three shove by accident, which is pretty cool. I love doing kickflip and late impossibles, but you're trying to get it pretty slowly like that. So in slow motion, this trick looks super, super cool. Same thing with the hard flip, late shove, it's front shove, late shoves, but it's not hard. So watch it rotate, catch it with the back hand, bring it, let it go, and then roll away clean. Let's watch it one more time. Super easy to learn. Um, you can also do this trick if it does rotate fully. Now, because I said you want to catch it on the grip here and throw it around, but you don't have to. If it fully flips, you can throw it from the side too without a problem. So practice your kick flips, practice your pop shoves, and you can get a kickflip late shove. Let's watch it one more time and get into the final and hardest trick of this video. So the final trick, the fourth and final trick I'm going to be showing you guys today is the late heel flip. Now I did say at the beginning of this that these are the easiest flip tricks. Late flip or late trick. Uh, things to do on a handboard. Late heel is not easy. It will take a while to learn. But the reason why I decided to put it into this list is if you have friends or siblings who handboard or you like doing it competitively or something like on Instagram or whatever, late heel definitely is a trick that very few people have. I think the only other person I've seen really do it would probably be Sam Tabor. 
but not many people have late heels. So let's take a look at what that looks like. Now I am talking about late backhand heel, rolling regular. So let's look at that. Okay, so the late heel flip. This is a trick that if you guys learn it, then you're definitely gonna look cool. Cause not many people can even do a regular heel flip. So doing a late heel flip is gonna blow people's mind. To know how to do a late heel flip, it is best if you do know how to kick flip. So just like I said before, real quick, all late flips are more of a mental thinking challenge compared to actually physically doing it. So just like with the fakie late flip, you're going to do a small kick flip motion this time because you're pushing forward against the board to do a heel flip. You're going to want to do a kick flip motion bringing it back. So put your foot, your back hand, wherever you want. Truthfully, that part does not matter. But when you flick, you're going to want to flick in the kick flip motion very lightly, just enough to bring it up. So doing a bunch of half flips, that could help you. Or if you're good enough to just do it and set it back down, is that a decent bit. The second you're able to do that, then you're good. Next, put your hand here because when you're going to pop this, you're going to throw it here, but it makes it easier for your hand to travel over and push forward. Late heel flips is a lot easier if you try to flip them in the center of the board. If you flip them anywhere else, you'll do late pressure flips or late front foot somethings. So, center of the board is the best place for it. Now, this trick, you can flip it too fast very easy. Late double heels are something that are extremely easy compared to a late heel flip. But you want to show control, you don't want to just fling your hand out there. So you're going to just use your middle finger. You're just going to pop, flick, and try to poke it. I mean, if you get good enough, maybe you could truly use your palm of your hand, which would be in reference the heel of your foot. But I like using my finger, so I'll pop, do the small motion, tipping it back, push it with my finger so it rotates and my hand is right above it to the point where I can do this. This trick, super, super difficult for me to learn, but the second I was able to land it once, I am pretty consistent at these. Now, I still miss all these tricks all the time. Late flips are decently hard. See, I flip too hard. There it is. I'm going to play it one more time in slow motion in that. I'm going to do a quick outro and then I'm going to show all four at a front facing angle. So let's get into this intro. Outro. Wow. Sorry, it's late at night. All right, YouTube. So thank you for joining me in my little handboarding tutorials. This is the second one I've done. I hope you guys do enjoy these. If you guys want to learn any other late flips, I am on Instagram named by another channel, not by me, uh, Handboard Club, the Late Flip Technician. Um, I can do quite a bit of late flips, which is that I probably could compete, at least in late flips, with Sam Tabor, if you guys watch him. Uh, like my favorite one to do, but very, very difficult, takes me usually about 30 minutes to land, is a big flip, late heel flip. But I've also done a heel flip, late heel flip. Uh, kick flip late impossible, uh, hard flip late shove, late frontside flip, fakie late frontside 360 flip. So there's a lot of them out there. If you guys have any ones, uh, I could probably do tutorials on them. The nolly ones I'm a little iffy on. I can kind of do a nolly front foot late flip, but those are my kryptonite when it comes to late flips. Uh, as always, guys, thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Make sure you guys have a great day. And I'm now going to show four other slow motion angles, front facing, 